Seven Candles for Kwanzaa. Andrea Davis Pickney. Pictures by Brian Pickney. Kwanzaa is like a family day in the park in Thanksgiving and a birthday all rolled into one. Kwanzaa is a joyous African-American holiday that is seven days long. It begins on December 26th and lasts through the 1st of January. The name Kwanzaa comes from the East African language of Swahili. It means first fruits of the harvest. Since ancient times in countries all over Africa, families have joined together to celebrate the end of the harvest and the beginning of the new planting season. When vegetables, yams, and fruits are ripe for gathering, families rejoice in a first fruits festival. Kwanzaa is a holiday that began in America. It is a time when people whose ancestors who come from Africa celebrate their African heritage. To get ready for the holiday, families decorate their homes with Kwanzaa symbols. They place mkeka, a straw placemat, on a table. The mkeka is woven with beautiful patterns. It represents tradition. The muhindi is corn. During Kwanzaa, one ear of corn is placed on the makeka for each child in the family. Families that have many children put lots of muhindi on their makeka, along with apples, bananas, nuts, pears, and yams to remember the earth's abundance. These fruits and vegetables are called mazaho, which means crops. Kwanzaa gifts made by hand are called zawadi, a fabric doll with black button eyes, a necklace strung with speckled beads, and homemade storybook with folk tales from Africa are the kinds of zawadi that praise our African ancestry. Grown-ups give Kwanzaa gifts to children to reward them for the promises they've made and kept throughout the year. Children can give Kwanzaa gifts too. Seven Kwanzaa candles are proudly placed in our kinara, a wooden candle holder. A black candle in the center represents the richness of our skin. Three red candles are reminders of the struggles we sometimes have to face. Three green candles tell us to always look forward to a prosperous future. For each day of Kwanzaa, one candle is lighted to celebrate a special principle. The seven Kwanzaa principles called Nguzu Saba, come from the beliefs that are held by families in many parts of Africa. These beliefs help us learn, achieve, and grow. On the first day of Kwanzaa, the black candle is set alight to celebrate Umoja. The word Umoja means unity. For Umoja, our family gathers at home. We share thoughts and feelings about the Kwanzaa holiday and relax in the spirit of togetherness. We talk, laugh, and ask Habari Gani. Habari Gani is a Kwanzaa greeting that means, what is the news? It is what we say to start each Kwanzaa day. When someone asks Habari Gani, we answer by telling about the Kwanzaa principle for that day. If someone asks Hobarigani on the second day of Kwanzaa, the answer is Kujicha Gulika, which means self-determination. A red candle is lit to represent Kujicha Guliha, this uh, day is to learn traditions that help us define ourselves. 
In some families, women teach girls to braid their own hair in fancy styles. In others, folks learn to beat African rhythms on drums and gourds. Habarigani, what's the news on the third day of Kwanzaa? Collective work and responsibility. Ujima. Ujima is the Kwanzaa day to light a green candle and work together to get a family chore done, like stripping down an old wooden chair and giving it a fresh coat of paint. On the fourth day of Kwan when the fourth day of Kwanzaa dawns, it's time to celebrate Ujama. Cooperative economics. For Ujama, we save up our coins for one whole year to buy a family gift that everyone can share, like a clock that chimes or a hallway mirror. On Ujama day, a red candle glows bright in the Kinara. Mia is purpose the fifth Kwanzaa principle. Today, a second green candle glows to illuminate our purpose. This day of Kwanzaa is for reflecting on how to fill the days and years ahead. Some folks dream of life as an astronomer who peers at stars and nestled in a dark night sky, or a trumpet player who bebops in a swinging jazz band. Nia, our purpose, is to do what makes us glad to be who we are. Kuumba means creativity and is the sixth day of Kwanzaa. It's for celebrating Kuumba everywhere in every way. Today we make up dances to perform for our friends. Some dances to tell stories about the history of people who live in Africa. Other dances are just for fun. Sculpting mounds of clay or reciting a favorite rhyme are also ways to express Kuumba. So is planting seedlings on the windowsill and nurturing them to sprout. The third red candle shimmers to help our creativity shine. Faith is Imani, the seventh Kwanzaa principle. To have faith is to believe that good will always happen. To show our belief in a happy holiday, we burn the last green Kwanzaa candle. Our Kwanzaa Karamu, a glorious feast, fills the room with the savory smell of roasted yams and collard greens. To begin the Karamu, a grown-up spills a few drops of water from the Kikombe Cha Umoja, the family Kwanzaa cup. Each droplet honors our African ancestors. Everyone takes a little sip from the cup to drink in the warm feelings of family unity. Then all give thanks for our delicious food and dig in to our Kwanzaa meal. After dinner, the party begins. The music sounds a soul-rousing rhythm. Everyone claps and shouts, rejoices and sings, and dances to celebrate a happy Kwanzaa. The end.